If you guys want good price, well priced American made stuffs, hit up. You don't need Lowe's. You don't need Harbor Freight. You don't need Snap On. You don't need Matco. You don't need Cornwell Wrights SK. Just hit up Zorro for Proto, and they have a lot of the stuff you're looking for for very low costs. Like this set here, fifty four fourteen. Blam, you're out the door. Now you got more money in your pocket to spend on other tools that you need on a day to day basis. So you see that sets 234, 27 to 55. Uh, yeah, that look at this 54 bucks. I think they even have free shipping, ships free, 54 bucks. Uh, eight piece socket set. What sizes do you get? So it's a 15 to 50. So you don't get the 55 and you don't get the 47. Pull out your credit card and you can make, uh, what's that? Four easy payments of 13.95 and that'll cover it. I love that as a defense. The first thing out of Snapple, like, Really, the vehemently fanboyish Snap-on guys, the first thing they say to the defenders, uh, their purchase on Snap-on or justify their Snap-on purchases. Well, I can make payments on it. Well, you can also sign up for a credit card and make payments on that, and it'll be a lower interest rate. So I don't really see the, the advantage there. I really don't understand that aspect of it. Every time my Snap-on guy would get, you want to apply for credit? No. I don't. I don't want to apply for your, what, your 20%, 25%, whatever their interest rate is now these days. No, I don't want to apply for your interest rate. So you could charge me 300 damn bucks full price for a tool you would sell me cash lower. And that's, and that's another one of the things. Like, if you go into a tool truck, the Snap-on guy, if you go, I'll pay you cash outright right now. What can you do for me? They'll usually lower the prices because they know they're getting their money today, not tomorrow, not next week. They don't have to hunt you down to get their money. You get it. They get it right then and there. No, every time, every single time I've been on a snap on truck, I have paid with my card. Take it off me because I don't want to be blindsided by something you do. And I don't want to be blindsided by something you do next week and a week after, or, you know what I'm saying? I've, or I've been paying you for six months and I got eight months to pay. You forget to bill me on the seventh. I think I'm done. And you, then you, you remember to bill me on the eighth and then you bill me the ninth. And then we get into an argument <laughs> and really it's actually fair because you only, build me you know you build me eight times but you skipped a month so i feel like it's you build me nine but really it's your fault in the first place because you forgot to build me that seven i've i've known i know people who have literally had that scenario happen <laughs> and that's why i just if i want something from the tool truck i just take the money now i don't want you bothering me and when you're looking at a set like this, we'll go back to the uh, we'll go back to the snap on socket set here. And when you're looking at a set like this, that is quite literally more than quadruple another American made set. <laughs> it's a no brainer. I'm sorry. I'm not going to apply for your 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 high interest rate credit account on your tool truck. Just not my thing. Just so you can charge me the full price of the tool? No, <laughs> I'm not doing that. And I don't I don't know why people do who have the money to buy something like this because you know monthly the payment on something like this Snap-on set is going to be the price of this Proto set. <laughs> They're going to tell you, oh yeah, that's going to be $15 a week. You know, the 234 is going to, you know, plus whatever you ordered, 15 bucks a week. 
and you know with the interest rate you end up paying 300 bucks on a set or something like that something or what's that 20 20 percent of 23 is what 40 some bucks so yeah you end up paying 270 <laughs> when that's like five times what the normal set would cost you from proto still american made and what's the advantage again <laughs> i don't really know but that's i just love how that's the first thing out of a like someone who avidly supports snap on it's like oh i could i could just pay weekly it'll just take it out off of me weekly no like this is quite literally the example of why credit is bad so i'm always an avid fan of seeking out like an equivalent product for a lower price because there are those usa made quality stuffs out there for a fraction of the snap-on or tool truck price i don't understand why the snap-on can come out with a multimeter right a specially designed multimeter that has uh a mediocre B Bluetooth function and a mediocre uh, remote function, right? When you could get an actual, you know, fluke, trusted and, you know, battle hardened and trusted fluke for a couple hundred bucks, a good one. If you're di diligent on eBay, you can even get a, a nice fluke. Uh, uh, like a hundreds, like four hundred, five hundred dollar fluke for a quarter of the price. So, I, I just, some of the snap on stuff is just ridiculously expensive. And I like a couple days ago, I pondered this. Like I laid in bed, and I, you know, it must be a testament to how lonely I am or something. But I laid in bed, and I thought, like. I don't know what would make it better. Like if more people bought snap on stuff, would they lower the prices or raise them? You know what I'm saying? On one hand, you get a more volume, more sales, right? Which means you can lower your prices because you're selling so much more. Or does that mean they raise their prices because they think, Oh yeah, these people are still buying, you know, I just don't know what would make it better.